Hey guys, welcome back to Country Sports Media. Today we're going to do the full review of the Pulsar Digix C50. Um, I just want to do a slight correction to my unboxing video uh, with chargers and cables. Um, this is actually um, a demo unit that came from Pulsar, uh, which was sent out in a maybe a little bit of a rush uh, to get it out there for us guys to uh, to use it. It does come with two cables. It comes with one cable so you can charge the scope um, via the USB-C charger into, uh, into your plug. Um, and it also comes with a cable to use with your dual bay charger. So that's just to sort of uh, put right what I, uh, what I said wrong on the previous unboxing video. Well, the Pulsar Digix C50, um, HD colour day, black and white night, night vision mode. Uh, what can I say? Um, I've been using this unit now for five or six weeks. Um, have to say, I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, it's the first time that I've been sort of really impressed with a uh, digital dedicated night vision scope. Um, for a while. Um, I briefly used the old Digix uh, N450. Um, a great scope, obviously very similar looking and everything, um, but that did suffer uh, with whiteout. Um, it was very IR sensitive, which then that made it a little bit of a pain uh, for pushing out um, distance wise, because uh, if you needed a, a stronger IR source, um, you really struggled with that, uh, as I say, with the whiteout. But with the new C50, that has been totally overcome. Uh, and what is not to like about a full colour dedicated night vision scope, uh, which is full color, HD colour from sunrise until dusk, and then even on a moonlit night going into twilight. Um, you're still getting a colour image. Um, obviously it's not as vivid um, as what it would be in the day um, and it's a little bit darker but you are still getting that perfectly usable colour image. So let's talk uh, about a few of the features of the C50. So built into the C50 is a new uh, CMOS sensor which is 1928-1088 on the front here um, you have an aperture ring which takes you from day to night mode which then sort of in night mode opens up the aperture to, uh, to let that extra little bit of light in and everything. Uh, moving back there you've got your focus ring. In the top you've got your battery turret. Uh, it comes with it comes with one APS-2 battery unless you buy it with the Pulsar IR, then it comes with two APS-2 batteries. Um, built into that you have an APS-3 battery, so a full charge uh, with your built-in battery and your removable IPS-2 battery. You should get anything from 9 to 10 hours runtime. I'm not a massive fan uh, myself of sort of leaving a scope running all night. Um, because it's got such a quick startup time of sort of two seconds there or there, about two to three seconds, um, it's easy enough because by the time you sort of, if you're sort of out foxing or whatever, if you you know getting it out of your truck to pop it on the bonnet or whatever, as you get it out, hit the power button, and by the time you put it onto the bonnet or the roof of your truck or even onto a set of sticks, um, it's already powered up and running. Um, Unlike the older Digex C50, um, and what I said on my unboxing video was if you tap the rear power button that brought up the sunlight, I have to correct that, that doesn't bring up the sun, sunlight. Um, if you go into the main menu which is on the reverse side of there, if you push that in, go down to sunlight, tap it and that brings some light on. Actually if you tap the rear power button that takes it from colour to black and white mode. Um, if you hold down, just going while we're on the buttons here, 
just go into the uh, the plus button if you tap that and hold it down that brings up your picture in picture your picture in picture takes up roughly about 10% um, at the top of your top middle of your screen uh, which that sort of you know that is uh, fantastic for shot placement the new C50 boasts up to 500 meters of detection at night in night vision mode again that will also depend on what IR you're using I've used this with various IRs I've used it with the uh, the Pulsar X850S I've used it with the laser and I've also used it with the Nightmaster NM1 XL with an 850 pill in there uh, and the laser also has an 850 pill in there um, so there's sort of with the older sort of Digex uh, M450 as we said a 940 pill maybe worked a little bit be better uh, because it wasn't so strong and it didn't give as much light out but as I say with this there is there's just absolutely no sort of problems whatsoever to be able to use a laser on this after the problems with the original Digex uh, M450 is just amazing there's no white out whatsoever and you comfortably sort of you know if you sort of uh, tighten the the beam down on any of the torches you're certainly pushing that out to a shootable distance of at least two to 250 300 yards um, I think I saw somebody on one of the Facebook pages that actually shot a fox at 310 yards with a C50 the other night uh, which that's uh, that's certainly impressive um, Obviously, you can see the look of it. Um, it is a little heavier than what the original Digex uh, N450 was, but I'll certainly take that little bit more heaviness um, for the quality of the image and everything that you're getting from this. Um, obviously, with, with new sensors and everything in there, um, and also the extra focus ring and that, you're always going to gain weight with that, but the gain gaining of weight um, is certainly well worth it but it is still a really balanced scope again with the same as the old Digex and the Thermion obviously traditional looking scope so that fits on 30mm rings I've chosen to use one of the inner mount rings here or inner mount systems uh, but you can use just sort of your, you know your plain old simple 30mm uh, rings which either go on to a Picatinny or your dovetails, uh, whatever you choose. You've got, with this, you've got five shooting profiles, and within the five shooting profiles, you've got 10 reticles, and within the 10 reticles, you've, diff you've also got different color combinations, so whatever that suits your eye, um, there is a combination, whether you want sort of white or black red, black green, um, various others, and say, have a play with it, and just, you know, see what, see what suits you know see what suits your eye because all of our eyes are different um and you know one thing that'll stand out to my eye i quite like the black red on there so i have a black reticle with just a, a red cross in it that won't suit everybody so really sort of you know have a play with it and see what suits yours um it's also fantastic um if you've got quick release mounts on there obviously with the five shooting profiles you can sort of flick that off one rifle pop it onto another rifle obviously you'd need to have sort of one shot just to make you know make sure um, of zero but it is possible just to, to move it from rifle to rifle which is um, again fantastic caliber rating um, like with most Pulsar products this is rated up to 375 H&H &H, um, or Strangely, if you wanted to put it onto a 12 gauge shotgun, um, it's been sort of tested to the to the jewels of the recoil from a 12 gauge shotgun also. So you know, with any rifle, um, you're really not going to uh, not going to struggle with this at all. Um, going on to the magnification, um, you've got the plus button here on the back that will take you to 3714. Um, if you sort of, it's obviously it starts off at three and a half times mag and then doubles to 40 uh, doubles to seven sorry and then doubles to 14 again uh, but you also can with your side rotational wheel here you can take it up in increments of 0.1 so um, you can set your picture in picture 
uh, you can have your main screen at say 3.5 and you could have your picture in picture at, at six times zoom um, or 5.5 zoom or 4.3 zoom whatever you're sort of comfortable with um, and whatever sort of you know um, gives you the sort of you know the clearest image uh, for yourself to use in the back here you've got a high contrast HD AMOLED screen um, that is super crisp um, some of the footage that I've seen on the internet um, Facebook's actually downgrades the footage which is a real shame because some of the footage that I've sort of had um, and recorded through this and I've seen other people um, have recorded through this the sort of the social media sites don't do it justice um, the, the, the image is just super 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 crisp um, also in there is a wide angled eyepiece that's giving 29.5 degrees of angle um, so sort of when you've got your eye up to it um, that's certainly sort of you know you're getting the the maximum out of everything um, built into there you've got a 16 gigabyte um, memory card this storage um, or sorry this stores your videos in mp4 format um, you probably get somewhere eight nine ten hours of videos um, or it stores your pictures in JPEG format um, pictures you'll probably get six seven eight thousand pictures um, so I think sort of with a combination of both um, it's plenty for any hunter um, with the new C50 compared to the old C50 this is now compatible with the new Stream Vision 2 app the new Stream Vision 2 app is fantastic um, you've also got cloud storage on there and obviously you can remotely um, with, with when firmware updates come available you can remotely send that to the scope via your Stream Vision 2 app um, I've touched already on three second two to three second startup time it's IPX7 waterproof rated which means one meter of water for 30 minutes nobody's intentionally going to throw their rifle into a meter of water for 30 minutes but it does mean that sort of any elements that you're out in uh, during the sort of winter or the summer months uh, the C50 is going to cope with that with not a problem uh, moving to the front, the lens is a 50mm lens and it's got a f1.4 uh, f-stop lens in there. So as I say, I've really enjoyed using this. Um, obviously I'm here in the UK and there is a real sort of you know buzz going around um, the social media groups about the C50. Um, it's it's you know it is just sort of super fantastic. As soon as Thomas Jacks here in the UK get more stock in from Pulsar, they've gone straight away. Um, I think most shops are still on pre-orders because uh, we just can't get enough of these scopes through. Um, but as I say, like you know, as time goes on, more and more are going to come um, onto the market and everything. So hopefully, uh, within the next sort of month or so they're going to be sort of readily available so if you want to pop into a shop and just pick one up you will be able to I'll pop some footage on the back of this video um, so you can see what uh, what sort of you know what sort of foot what or what the footage looks like and everything um, just before I go obviously I'll talk to you uh, about IRs I've tried the C50 with, like I said before, all three IRs. You've got the Pulsar X850S. Um, that also comes in an X940S. I'm not sure whether both models are available in the UK or whether it'll just be the 850. Um, in there, you've got the APS-2 battery again. Um, you can put an APS-3 battery in there, and it does come with a extended rear cap so you can use the APS-3 battery like I say I've used it with an 850 um, laser IR didn't have any problems with that at all um, if you want to sort of really sort of you know push your legs out um, probably a laser is the way to to look at it but I've also been more than happy with the Nightmaster NM1 XL 
Um, I've shot a fox at 240 yards with that, um, and certainly I can see you know a lot further than that. Um, the only sort of added bonus with the Nightmaster is that you have got a rear dimmer on there, uh, the same as what you've got with the uh, with the Pulsar IR as well. You've got a dimmer control on there, so if this is you know for an air rifle for you you know ratting gun or even for a rimfire uh, to go out rabbiting or whatever maybe the two sort of outside irs would be more sort of beneficial with the uh with the with the dimmer switch on them so like i said i'll put some uh video footage on the rear end of sort of daylight night time and also some twilight footage so I hope you've enjoyed the review on this. Um, like I say, I'm sort of really made up by this. Um, obviously, I've been sort of lent this. Um, I have now personally got one on order. Um, and it'll quite happily sit on the 204 uh, for a long time to come. So watch how you go, guys. Um, and I shall see you all soon.